And last thing before we get into the spotlight. Queen Court versus Escape with Tamar. To give y'all just a brief synopsis. Because I'm finna let y'all read some tweets. Because <laughs> I ain't finna read the shit for you. Now, mm, the Queen's Court has been doing some big things. <clears throat> I recently just started watching the Queen's Court because I didn't know it existed. I'm not going to lie. I, within like the last two months, I recently got into it. But together, T.S. Madison and Kaya are the perfect duo. I give them that. They have, they have magic. They have a magic about them. <clears throat> and, I mean, it is what it is, you know. You, you can't knock them for what the fuck they do. Okay. So, <clears throat> they, and when I say they, more or less Kyle, but they have had quite a bit to say about Tiny, and her marriage, Candy Burris, and her singing. They've had some things to say about Tamar, which I don't think she's necessarily off the hook per se, but they've had a lot to say. <clears throat> Tamar decided that they were going to bring the Queen's Court on. I bring them on stage now to give a little bit of uh, insight. I have not necessarily, I haven't gone to um, the Great Escape tour, but I've heard a lot of people talk about it. <clears throat> there are portions where the DJ plays Kai is my net, my back. I don't give a fuck who you is, who you was, when that shit came on, you know, especially when that shit first came out. That was a motherfucking song. That was a BET uncut type motherfucking song. We was here for it. But they play it. People go up for it. Because they play it. I, I want to emphasize that it gets played. Okay. So there's that. They also reside in Atlanta. Now Tamar has been bringing on locals. To come up on stage. With what town she goes into. So you have Monica. Which I loves me some Monica. I really really. And I, I my favorite album by her. Is still standing. And right below that. Is uh, After the Storm. But. Monica, between her sets, allows her, you know, backup singers to do songs to show that they, they ain't shit to play with. Tamar brings on local artists from that particular state, town, whatever. And those that who either once was on once before or maybe popping right now, but she brings them up on there. So they're in Atlanta. That was who she chose to pick. Now... Let's not pretend like Tamar doesn't have anything going on right now because I was going to talk about her shit, but I'm fed up. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to say it. I'm all right. Y'all have already seen me upset. I'm not going back to that place because <laughs> me talking about her shit will be nothing but fucking frustration. But with all of that, you um, <clears throat> she brings them on. Like, she invited them to get on stage with her. And before it could happen, something was said to the members of Escape and it was rumored that Kai and T.S. Madison had weapons. So, they were pretty much forbidden from performing on stage. And that was pretty much that. Now, uh, the Queen's Court had, you know, hinted that something big was going to be happening on New Year's Eve. And that was the particular incident. Now, there is a certain uh, birdie that is present that I'm going to talk about when I come right back. So I did my best to try to put these um, Instagram posts, tweets, and Facebook posts in chronological order. If they happen to be out of chronological order, I do apologize. Human error, because it was so much going on, and I wanted to try to like give you the most that I can. So <clears throat> when I give you my opinion, because I could have done this video a while back. Like, I could have release this video a while ago and record this a while ago but I wanted to make sure that I got more information because I don't want to come on here and be ill prepared because <clears throat> if anything breaks I don't want to be the first one on it I want to try to give it time even with the Sandra Bland thing I gave that time before I jumped on it so I want to try to give things time before I jump on it because I don't want to have to come in here and every week or every time I do a tablet or training times with T have to sit here and retract the statement. Okay. So shit down the tweets and Facebook posts and Instagram posts. 
Here we go. So the plot thickens, or does it not? <clears throat> and a Mr. <clears throat> Nate Stewart has put himself in the crosshairs of all of this. Now, <clears> T.S. <throat> Madison, you know, did hint towards the individual, never said name. So, yeah, that was indirect shade. But I think a lot of it was just to sit here and just say what needed to be said. Because she never once said <clears throat> who from escape. He felt so unkind to comment. And everything blew up from there. And when I tell y'all T.S. Madison said that she had time, she had time that fucking day. So, 
again, y'all saw, y'all saw everything. So I don't necessarily need to sit here and revisit a whole, whole lot. Okay. But what I want to say is this. To Tamar, I do believe <clears throat> that this was a strategic move to either not end up on the docket with the Queen's Court or to minimize the hit that you are going to take. I'm sorry, I'm at that point in my life and I've been here for a while where I don't put shit past anybody and a lot of people have ulterior fucking motives. So, <clears throat> fault me if you want. I'm not saying that she wasn't doing a good thing. But I do think that that is part of it. <clears throat> to Candy, if you are in fact the author behind a lot of this madness, not author, but if you happen to have contributed to some of this madness, I will say this. <clears throat> For someone who is about their paper being in the business, you did not make a great decision move. Because if you heard that they had weapons, and you believe they had weapons, a boss move, or a leader move, because I don't believe in bosses all that much, would have been to go address the ladies personally and talk to them. <clears throat> if you were fearful that they were going to get on stage and talk about someone that you are friends with, here's the thing, safe face, business. Because, like I said, the Queen Court say this is all jokes. If that was the case, you, being the boss that you are, could have went and talked to them. And just made it clear, like, first of all, well, I heard y'all had weapons. Okay, y'all got weapons? Okay, cool. I know, <clears throat> I know what y'all do. Can you all do us a favor? Because this is the greatest escape tour. This ain't the Tamar Bluebird of Happiness tour. Please, can you refrain from getting on stage and being messy? And they said no, then say, okay, well, I'm not going to let you get, we're not going to let you get on stage, or I'm not going to let you. But at least do that. And then even prepare everyone else where if they decide to go off script, cut their mics. See how that works? Real fucking simple. <clears throat> also, be, be very weary of who you have in your court, even with you on the Real Housewives of Atlanta saying that you're careful about who you're going to pick for your GM. You need to be careful in general. Because if you allowed yourself to be played by someone all for um, Gucci Mane's wife, <clears throat> that doesn't look good for you. The fact that you allow this person to play you and use you as a pawn for his particular agenda. Okay? So there's that. Again, this is me trying to give a little bit of insight. You know, again, boy, I try, I'm trying not to tear people down without trying to sit here and build them back up. <clears throat> to the Queen's Court, like I said, I, I, I enjoy watching them. They are a gag. It is a key key. But what I will say <clears throat> is just in general, you can't sit here and talk about people. Even And again, it is, a lot of it is jokes and gags. They've also said that, you know, the people send in topics because there are people that send me topics to talk about. So I understand. <clears throat> And they even said um, on, I think, their second to last live video that they're going to start putting people's names to the um, topics because they're getting attacked for people's names appearing on the dock and they're just giving their commentary. But what I will say is you can't sit here and say things about people and disrespect people. Make jokes about people, pet fun, all the other stuff, and think that they're just going to allow you to, you know... Um, <clears throat> move up and progress using their namesake. Okay? And before I continue, I do want to make mention that a lot of people feel that the girls are mad because they weren't able to perform. I, Especially by following the tweets and whatnot, I think the issue wasn't that they were not allowed to perform, but more or less that they were lied on by having weapons on them. And based on how they were dressed, it doesn't appear they had weapons. And to kind of reach bone back and bring Candy to the forefront, because y'all know I like Candy. She is the only reason that I began to watch The Real Housewives of Atlanta was because of her. Because I didn't start watching them until like seasons later, and I saw her, and then I went back to get caught up. <clears throat> Candy, did you not just have a situation with uh, Phaedra Parks and Portia Williams? And I'm being real respectful with their names right now, because I'm trying, like, whatever. With you being light on by being a rapist 
drugging people, taking them back to six dungeons, were you not lied on? Did that not affect your bottom line? Because when all this aired, when all this aired initially, right, the vindication had already happened, but it had not aired. So yes, people were calling her Peel Cosby, everything else that affected business, sales, her bottom line. With that being said, <clears throat> why would you, on the receiving end, dish that out to, you know, two other ladies? Why would you do that? Because for it to be put out there that they were kicked out, and that's disputable, because they had weapons, especially if you really did play a part in it, you pretty much just did to them what was done to you. That is not a good look. That is not a good business move. That's not a boss move. That's not what leaders do. So I want you, so for you, Candy, <clears throat> if you were in fact the person, future reference, think about what was done to you and think twice before you do it to someone else. <clears throat> and to Mr. Nate Stewart, If, in fact, you are the author behind all of this and was able to use Candy as a pawn all to help your friend, I believe her name is Keisha, Mrs. Gucci Mane. You had said, <clears throat> or typed, you did not do any of this for the fame, all this other stuff, and you're mad because you're getting all this attention. I... Miss me with the bullshit. Okay. First and foremost, <clears> T.S. <throat> Madison did do a post. You even said to T.S. Madison, why don't you add me next time all this other shit? You could have definitely been Beyonce to the bullshit. Because you put yourself out there and even say you were the one that did it. Candy is a balls. ABC. XYZ. <clears throat> you brought this on yourself, not to mention that every time T.S. Madison damn near made a post... You were down there going back and forth with her. You did that. So, <clears throat> first and foremost, I'm going to say, you probably just fucked yourself. Especially with them being able to grab the receipts. And unfortunately, I have some of them too. Even when you said that, you know, the main family gave you, you know, this piece of jewelry and you were contemplating selling it. To pay off some bills, something that you posted, granted it was an L O L the end of it, but still you posted and whatnot. Like you put yourself out there. <clears throat> this stuff is being used against you. And you're caping for someone who, from what I see, I could be wrong, but I really don't care. You're caping for somebody that's probably not really caping all that much for you. You sitting here spending money trying to keep up with the Jones, trying to keep up appearances. And then for what? And then for you to sit here, if all this is true. To put candy birds in such a situation, especially if you are in Atlanta, you really just fucked yourself because candy career isn't over. Candy can't rebound from this. Candy still has, you know, her hand and money in different places. It doesn't appear that you do. And even if candy doesn't do anything, who's really going to want to work with you knowing that you are this messy and you have this much bullshit? And to say that you didn't want all this, <clears throat> you did. Because since your name was never mentioned and there was indirect shade, if you will, T.S. Madison and Kai never said who from escape. They just said escape cunts. Because they didn't want to say who. You went so far as to try to clarify. That's what you did. So, I'm going to just need for you just to sit your ass down and really reevaluate things. And if you don't have an actual job job or something professional or you don't have a skill, you don't have a trade, you might want to get one because you might not really be working all that much. Because who's going to work want to work with somebody who keeps up bullshit? No one. So, what are my feelings? What team am I on? Well, to quote Whitney Houston... From uh, Patty Lee Yells, Gots to Be Real. Who team am I on? Team Jesus, Team Soldiers for Christ. Let's be clear. I don't have a dog in this fight. And to be completely honest, until 
I hear all sides until the females from Escape actually come forward. And I don't want being Candy's general manager until all the ladies from Escape come forward. And I have the opportunity <clears throat> to look at everything. I truly can't come to a I can't come to a decision right now. I can't. I can't even pick a side. But what I will say is the Queen's Court has been gaining a lot of traction. And they are literally being put out there. So this is, it seems like this is a train that is not stopping anytime soon. But whose side am I on? I am Jewish, so I'm not necessarily Team Jesus. But I'm Team Yahweh. <laughs> I'm Team T Spilling right now. Team Prism and shit. That's the, what team I'm on. So that's all I got. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about it if y'all on any particular team. So last, Spotlight. Go ahead and shine a Spotlight. This is typically called the Congrats But Spotlights. So first, to Eva Marcel, um, America Next Top Model winner. Uh, she had announced that she's pregnant by attorney Michael Sterling and she is now engaged. So congrats to this young lady. Congrats. I hope that this brings you much uh deserve happiness and bliss and whatnot i hope um so uh rapper ti he had helped out a lot of single mothers uh before christmas had went to a store i believe it was target and had pretty much said if you're a single mother follow me and he paid for their gifts i believe he spent i think i put it down didn't i yeah over uh two thousand i'm sorry twenty thousand dollars in 30 minutes and he had also um, donated a lot of um, baby essentials and gifts to those in need. So, uh, like I said, congrats to Tip Harris. And like I said, <clears throat> regardless of why he did it, that was definitely a great thing to do. So, I applaud you for that. Um, the Rock, uh, Jack Black, Karen Gillan, and Kevin Hart's uh, new movie, they did uh, Jumanji. It uh, opened number one worldwide. But it was number two in the st uh, in the U.S. behind Star Wars, but it opened everywhere else at number one. So congrats to all four of them. And in the words of T.S. Madison, get money, bitch. <laughs> get money. And I'm pretty sure Cry Reese is somewhere crying right now. Also, Remy Ma and Pat Poos are expecting. So congrats to them. I know they have been trying. And we've been dealing with this this whole entire season right now on Love Hip Hop New York. I really feel they should have kept that shit <laughs> until later, but it is what it is. They're probably going to release it on the uh, reunion. Will and Jada uh, Pickett Smith uh, celebrated 20 years of marriage. Congrats to that couple. Uh, from Forrest Ross, she says every seven, like seven years is like every seven years, like the number seven is uh, trying. So they'll be at 21 next year. So I hope they're able to navigate through that 21st year. So they'll start 21 next year. I'm sorry, actually on this year. And next year, they'll have to endure 21. So I hope all goes well with them. Spike Lee's uh, Guys to Have It, um, which pretty much um, is now a Netflix uh, series, has uh, been renewed for season two. Congrats to Spike Lee again. Get money, bitch. Brian and Knight tie the knot on New Year's Eve. So congrats to him. Mary J. Blige, um, it's been reported that she is going to receive her star on the uh, Hollywood, uh, I think it's Hollywood? She's going to receive her fucking Hollywood star on January 11th. It's reported, but I believe that is going to happen. And last but not least, the daytime talk show The Real has been renewed for two more seasons. So the way that I typically like to end this, typically when I'm on live, is... Asking who's going to take the L of the week and who's going to take the W? Who winning? So, since this is not live, I want you guys to comment who you think took the L and who took the W. And this was like over the last two weeks. So, who you think is taking the L? Who you think is taking the W? And at the start of the very next Cyber Trend Top with T, hopefully next week, fingers crossed, but I'm currently in class until the 20th, two days later. I'm going to be away for two weeks, you know, doing my job. So it's going to be a shake up here. So the very next one, we'll deliberate then. And I'll tally up and let you guys know. Let me know who you guys think takes the L and the W. Okay. But that is all that I have 
for the very first Tableau's Gen and Tapu T for 2019. Thank you guys so, so very much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let's keep the conversation going down below. Don't forget, if you have any topics that you would like for me to talk about, please send them to spillinality at gmail.com. And if y'all been watching, it's probably been scrolling around somewhere down in the here region. Okay? Also, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, above all, please let's be very respectful in the comment section. You can come for me, but when conversing with other people down in the comment section, please be very respectful. Like I said, we can agree or disagree, but one thing I do not tolerate is respect. Especially towards everyone else. I can fucking take it. But let's not do that to everybody else. So, that is all that I have. I hope you guys have a great week. A blessed week. Remember that, you know, you can't be given anything when your hand is closed. So, be a blessing to others so you can be blessed. Pay it forward. And I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to send me in your topics and pics and all that good jazz. So, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Peace.